One of the world's most popular social networking apps for gay men is promising to change the way it shares information. The move triggered by privacy concerns. ABC 7 News begins in 60 seconds. Live where you live, this is ABC 7 News. Fear and outrage today after users of the gay dating app Grindr found out their HIV statuses were shared with other tech companies. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Ama Dates. I'm Eric Thomas. Dan Ashley has the night off tonight. Grindr responded to, the, to those fears by making a change to company protocol. ABC 7 News reporter Kate Larson joins us in the newsroom to explain. Kate. Alma, Eric, after hours of uproar, Grindr announced that they have stopped sharing their users' HIV status with third-party vendors, but they are still defending their practice, saying the concerns are a misunderstanding of what information they are sharing and with who. When setting up a dating profile, Grindr users can choose to share their HIV status. You can post negative, negative on PrEP, positive, positive undetectable. That information, along with other data like GPS location, phone ID and email, was being shared with two companies that Grindr hired to test the app's performance. That does bring up questions on whether it's worthwhile to use that feature. Grindr says the information was encrypted and was never shared with advertisers. I actually find this uh, very disturbing and even possibly sinister. San Francisco Supervisor Jeff Sheehy worries the more Grinder shares people's personal information, the more likely their HIV status will end up in the wrong hands through a data breach or otherwise. Someone who's HIV positive, you know, I do value their contributions towards destigmatizing HIV, but this collection of information is a step too far. I think privacy needs to come first. Cecilia Chung is a San Francisco Francisco Health Commissioner and a transgender and HIV awareness advocate. She's concerned about the potentially adverse consequences of people posting their HIV status. I think that everyone should keep the health status to themselves unless it's necessary for them to disclose, such as when it is in an intimate um, relationship or you are seeking medical doctor's advice. Now, Grindr released three different statements throughout the day and maintains they are a champion for the LGBTQ community. All of those statements are posted on our website, abc7news.com. In the newsroom, I'm Kate Larson. Amal will send it back to you.